You've seen the view, heard all the real talk. Now have a seat at our table, a table for five. So I just wanted to bring up the subject of uh, pit bulls. Yes. Um, for the main reason that 10 years ago, you didn't see as many pit bulls in households as you do today. Now it is becoming the mainstream dog and almost every other house has one and the misconceptions that surround these beautiful animals. Mm -hmm. And with us we have Cinnamon Clark who is a pit bull Hi, specialist. Hi everybody. Cinnamon, this is nice awesome. to see y'all. And her friend here is Lanny, yes. aka Cha-Cha. Yes. Oh, amazing. So cute. So they how do you get Cha-Cha to be well. this controlled? Yeah. Like, is this normal or this is trained, um, taught? Many brilliant questions all at once. Um, <laughs> she did come from the South Central shelter, so she oh um, did not know manners. She had no idea what she was doing. Uh, she was all over the map emotionally. You were a little crazy. And yeah. so oh, for and the truth of the matter is, it's not about training per se. Mm. Training is a beautiful thing, and training sit and down. That's just like reading and writing. We all need that, mm -hmm. but but school doesn't make you a good person. Mm. Mm. Parenting makes you a good person. Mm -hmm. So yes. I've had her now for about. Write that down. Uh, I've had her for about um, seven years because I got her when she was age one, and she was very oh. dog aggressive when the I first got I her. Make out and she is. Um, <laughs> oh, and her breath is not very good, so I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm it's, okay. a, it's a little bad, a little bad. But um, she's learned to be very tolerant with other dogs, and she plays with other dogs now. So it's it's well, about the only parenting issue that her. She had was just aggression towards um, other dogs. No, she, she she had no manners. She mm -hmm. busted through three metal crates, chewed her way out. Wow. She had lots and lots of she anxiety. The metal. Yes. Is that normal the metal. for pit bulls? Like that's the perception that they're that aggressive, that they're a little scary, that you know. Right. Like, so yes. is that the norm? Or is that that? No, that's just bad situation. parenting. That's bad parenting. Oh, that's her situation Do you, previous. Right, because she came with emotional baggage. Mm -hmm. It's like adopting a foster child who's mm -hmm. been in the foster system a while, oh, and right. and they come with a broken heart, and you have to right. sit and and wade through the panic but that, that was comes only up two and weeks out. After you got her, that was true. Real. That's true. In two mm -hmm. weeks, you. No, 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 no. She chewed through the, oh, oh, the oh, crate. crate. No, but she went through more crates after. Mm -hmm. So how long after, <laughs> after you, you had you? <laughs> it takes about a year. Oh, wow. It takes about a year for, for proper parenting and for her to know that no matter what she does, thinks, says, feels, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I still love you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere. I've got your back. Mm -hmm. and, and you can panic, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop you. I'm not going to drop you. I'm are there triggers to pit bulls that are just only for pit bulls or to no. dogs in general? That's a, that's a, this is great. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, she's, I'm done. Done. Oh, she's done. She's done. We lost the dog. We lost the dog. Um, uh, no, um, pit bulls are a type of terrier. Mm -hmm. So all terriers sort of come with the same package. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And terriers um, are not human aggressive. They're not supposed to be human aggressive. Mm. That's not in their makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you have people who don't know what they're doing and they're producing more and more dogs, mm -hmm. they're not paying attention to the emotional stability of the puppies that they're producing. Mm -hmm. So you get dogs who are emotional wrecks, mm -hmm. who don't who don't know how to have self-control, who don't know what they're doing. So are all pit bulls wonderful? No. Absolutely not. Because not all are all are people wonderful? wonderful? No. Oh, oh, no. Wow. Oh my gosh, no. But you know, so they're and the more um, the more of an actual fighting dog that you get, the better the dog. Mm, She's nice. she is a little properly bred pit bull. So you're kind of in some way you're saying that nurturing could change their nature too. It's mm -hmm. nature and nurture. Yes. Wow. Yes. You think like, the nurturing well, actually yes. change the nature? Because yes. animal, I believe that 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 works to even human. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. But I think to a point. Nature. Yeah. To, to a point. point. To Sometimes a point. Sometimes I have a little iffy kind it's of both. feeling that right then. You know, you cannot really change animals. Like it maybe right. it's a period of time, like temporally. Mm. And I yes, and I think people because too. You cannot animal? change. Yeah. So, yes. what kind of family should adopt a pit bull? Is there a um, certain type of family? Yes, if, um, I think okay. so too. Yes, because I have a human child. I have a little boy, and he's five. <laughs> I, like and I, have a, I have to delineate. I, like that. I have to delineate because I have lots of four-legged <laughs> children, and I only have the one human yeah, yeah, child. Yeah. You know. nice. um, so it's not about. Um, 
training the dog to tolerate whatever a human dishes out and liking it, mm. that doesn't ever work. That's mm. cruel and, 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 mm. and inhumane. Mm. It is teaching your children to respect an animal and their limits. Mm. Dogs and children are too similar. If they mm. hurt, they hit. They don't have the wherewithal, the buffer right. there. Right. So you, so the ideal home for a pit bull would be someone who um, is on the ball with parenting, parenting their own children, mm -hmm. having structure and boundaries, boundaries. and mm -hmm. and never hitting and never yelling and no leash correction all of that stuff wow, is a so myth. No you should not have to do. What yeah. is that? <laughs> well, no, your house is fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, I'm no, just saying, there's... like, gosh, I, I try not to yell, but. Oh, yeah, but I mean, you know, we yeah. all. There's a reason. Kind of, yeah. I still want to strangle some days my dogs, <laughs> but I don't, but I right. want to. Um, but I think it's somebody who's really on the ball with their parenting mm -hmm. skills. And I think it's good to point out, too, that you've had the dog, you said, for seven years. Correct. He, she is eight years old, but your son is only five. Yes. So you had the dog first, and you oh, brought sure. your son yes. home to the dog. So okay. can you talk a little bit about that and yes. how, you know, some Did people would be like, oh, dog, yeah, like, absolutely. Yes. Dogs yes. The family. Yes. yes. And my human child <laughs> has the most amazing recall ever. Um, it, he, if you say, wait, please, and come to me, he drops everything and runs to me like like she would. That's mm -hmm. probably wow. terrible, and I should be saying the truth <laughs> no, out loud. No. We need a yes, but it is what it is. Because it's, it's because it's a behavioral thing, and it and it's and it's you know don't yell and don't be rude to them and don't disrespect them. And my five year old little son knows just because you can doesn't mean you should. Mm. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. You don't get to hurt an animal just it's because you want them to mm -hmm. comply with your behavioral wishes. That's so disrespectful. You're being a bully. Mm -hmm. So we don't, nobody is allowed to bully each other in our family. So my son has rules, yes. Mm -hmm. No toys over the head, no screaming and running. Um, you, if the dog is in the crate, you don't, do not touch. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely the animal's safety zone and they need a place mm -hmm. to escape. Is that Most dog bites happen. Dogs? That's what I think so, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. that's why most dog bites happen because wow. no one is helping the dog parent the human child. Mm. And the dog feels tortured and the human child is it's relentless. Not fair to the dog. Not fair mm. to the dog. Not fair to the dog. The so dog you have to really be on it. And then they of course. Have to go yeah. Away. Yeah. Of course. Wow. When it's the human child that was in error. Right. Because dogs are primordially hardwired to do things differently than primates. We are mm. primates. We do things differently. So if a child is acting out of line, well, if a puppy is acting out of line, mm -hmm. the mama dog puts her teeth on the puppy and the puppy knows, oh, I freeze. Kittens know too. That's just how they're, they're it's just in them. It's just mm -hmm. hardwired in them. But when a little human kid does that and the dog is being rude and the dog puts mm -hmm. the mouth on the, what does a human kid do? No. Mm -hmm. And then the mama dog says, no, but you're being so rude to me. Why are you mm -hmm. disrespecting me? Because dogs don't know. And then okay. they go harder. Yeah. And then the child pulls back and then you have a dog bite. Mm. Where if the the adult would have been going, no, 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 don't, you're not allowed to treat the dog like that. Mm -hmm. Dog Never bites wouldn't happen. Dog bites wouldn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. All communication. What's the biggest? Yes. The what's tag. the biggest? Yeah, that is a good, yeah, that's yeah. A good point. Communication. What's the biggest myth? Of the oh, pitbulls? locking jaws. Oh, yeah. Hysterical. Oh, like, like you do not don't. need a key to open the jaws of a pit bull. It's just oh, really? like the I've silliest never heard thing. Of that. Oh my gosh, the crazy stuff that I've heard. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, really? yeah, but their jaws lock and when they, they, when have they latch super on. Powers oh and I'm The reason like, oh. why you can't get their jaws open is because, hello, it's how many thousands of pounds yeah. of pressure. Yeah. I mean, right. it's not that they're well, locked. And, it's... and Jack Russell's are way more intense. Yeah. Jack Russell terriers are way more intense. We all better be blessed that they're not bigger because they're really intense. And pit bulls were not bred to be aggressive. Huge, huge, huge. They're huge. not bred to be aggressive. They're only bred to never give up. Just mm -hmm. never give up. Whatever you're doing, if you're mm -hmm. doing some obedient stuff, or if you're digging a hole, <laughs> or would you say that yeah. like in general they're a stronger dog? Than, uh, sure, like, say, I think so physically. Else, like, sure. Physically, sure. Well, but you know, I have a Neapolitan Mastiff at home, and he's about 140 pounds. Mm -hmm. she, my little dog is no match for him. Mm -hmm. um, no match. So, does d would so my she little dog necessarily have an advantage because she's a pit bull? And she she's may. Got a stronger well, rider and and, and like that. that's another good question. Oh, my gosh, y'all are fantastic. I'm loving this, y'all. You're smart women. Thank you. Yeah. You are. It's fantastic. Well, usually people research. ask me silly stuff. Um, well, the thing is, is when a, when a terrier has their mind set, like my mind set, I'm going to do this, then what are they bred to do? Never give up. So they wear down their opponent. Oh, wow. So that's that's the difference. And I think the really the most fundamentally different thing about terriers versus every other, breeds of, every other breed of dog is how they fight. And it's, um, it's this unemotional 
situation for the terrier. It's like a discount. Um, it's, yeah, it's not personal. Well, it's it's a yes. It's not a personal thing because right. most other breeds of dogs fight, and it's um, and it's emotional, and everybody's screaming and freaking oh. out, and hair is flying, and not a whole heck of a lot of damage happens. Mm. But with a terrier, then their brain they go, oh. That's turned into a squirrel now. I really like squirrels. I'm not going to let go of that thing. Mm -hmm. And they just want to hold it like a squirrel and shake it. And like a rag doll. Yes, like a rag okay. doll. And, wow. so, it's, and yeah. so they're having fun. Mm -hmm. wow. it's, it ceased to be this emotional I have event. a lot of questions after this. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that she has a website. You have a website. I do. Cinnamonclark.com. Yes. Okay. If you have any more questions, we will talk about this further. Yeah. Thank yes. you. Thank, thank you. Thanks, y'all, for having oh, me. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yay. <laughs> thank you for joining us at Table for Five. Please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. We hope you were informed, educated, and entertained. See you next time.